हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल टॉक अबाउट द लीज इन वेरियंस कंडीशन ना स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट बाई यूजिंग द इन्फिनिटिजिमल्स दैट आर गिवन टू अर्स लाइक कैपिटल एक्स एंड कैपिटल वाई वी कैन फाइंड द चेंज ऑफ वेरिएबल्स एंड बाई यूजिंग दोज चेंज ऑफ वेरिएबल्स वी कैन कन्वर्ट आवर गिवन ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इन टू अ सेपरेबल इक्वेशन दैट कैन बी इजीली सॉल्व नो मैटर हाउ डिफिकल्ट इट इज नाउ स्टूडेंट्स द क्वेश्चन इज हाउ दीज इन्फिनिटिजिमल्स आर ऑप्टेन Now, students, we will uh, see what is the least invariance condition, and we will see that how we can find these infinitesimals, capital X and capital Y. Now, students, we seek the invariance of this uh, equation. This is a first order ordinary differential equation that is dy by dx is equal to capital F of x y. See, this is equation number one. Now, students, under the transformations, and the transformations are given by x bar is equal to x plus capital X of x y. epsilon plus order of epsilon squared in the similar way the value of y bar now students if you remember in my previous videos i have solved a particular example in which we have taken an ode and we are also given the lie group and we have uh, proved that under that lie group the given differential equation is invariant but students now we are going to uh, give a proof so we have to use the general form of lie group and also the general form of first order ode okay Now, students, if we want to prove the invariance of this equation, then definitely we have to write our equation in this way, like we have done in our previous video where I have solved a particular example. So I have I have written here dy bar over dx bar is equal to capital F of x bar and y bar. Now, students, in doing so, as you know, we are given the infinitesimal transformations, so we have to know how the derivatives will transform. Like if I take uh, its left hand side, dy bar by dx bar. so students i can also write it here in this way dy bar by dx is divided by dx bar by dx because definitely if we cancel uh, them with each other then i will get the previous term now students if i just substitute the value of y bar here so i will get y plus capital y of x of y epsilon plus order of epsilon square and in the similar way we will substitute the value in the denominator like d by dx into the value of x bar and that is equal to x plus capital x of x y times epsilon plus order of epsilon square okay now students uh, we will apply the derivative on these terms and we will see that how we can take the derivative now student if i take the derivative of y then we will get dy by dx okay now students we have to take the partial derivative uh, sorry the derivative of capital y of xy but students uh, as our y is a function of two variables so we have to apply here the chain rule now students as you know we will take the partial derivative of y with respect to x so we will get partial y by partial x into dx by dx plus partial y with this now we will take the derivative with respect to y so partial y is a uh, partial capital y by partial y into dy by dx because we have to take the derivative of y with respect to x and epsilon as it is and plus order of epsilon square because uh, it is not going to affect our order of epsilon square and the, all the terms will be neglected in the similar way when we will take the derivative like dx by dx plus in the similar we will take the derivative with respect to x like partial x by partial x into dx divided by dx plus partial capital x by partial y into dy by dx times epsilon plus order of epsilon square now students here you will get the value uh, dy by dx plus into the okay, partial derivative of y with respect to x can be written as yx plus yy into y prime times epsilon plus order of epsilon square and that is divided by it will become 1 plus x of x because it, this term will be equal to 1 okay plus x of y times y prime into epsilon plus order of epsilon square now students uh, if i will write here dy by dx plus capital y of x plus capital y of y into y prime times epsilon plus order of epsilon square 
into if I take the numerator and multiply it with the numerator then it will become equal to 1 plus x of x plus x of y y prime epsilon plus order of epsilon square raised to power negative 1 because definitely I have taken it in the denominator so I have to write this term now students if I expand it uh, by using binomial expansion then I will get here uh, dy by dx plus y of x plus capital Y of y times y prime epsilon plus order of epsilon square times 1 as it is the power that is minus 1 definitely if I write addition here then it will get negative okay and uh, this term that is equal to capital X of X plus capital X of Y Y prime times epsilon and all the terms will become order of epsilon square now students it will become equal to we will write here dy by dx plus capital yx plus yy times y prime into epsilon plus order of epsilon square times 1 minus capital x of x plus x of y y prime times epsilon plus order of epsilon square now students if i multiply both of them with each other then i will get first of all uh, we will multiply dy by dx okay so it will become equal to if we multiply dy by dx with 1 then i will get dy by dx now students we will get here uh, dy by dx and if i multiply it with 1 then we will get dy by dx as it is and if i multiply this term with 1 then i will get this and if we multiply y prime with this term then i will get negative as it is x of x plus x of y y prime into epsilon into y prime i have right uh, dy by dx is equal to y prime uh, and if i multiply both of them with each other then i will get epsilon square then all the terms i have taken taken in epsilon the order of epsilon square now students if i take epsilon as common from both of these terms and if i combine them then i will get this because y of x y of y y prime minus x of x y prime and uh, minus x of y and if I multiply both of them with each other, then I will get y prime square times epsilon. Now, students say this is equation number 4. Now, if I use all the values in equation number 3, then equation number 3 implies basically equation number 3 is dy bar over dx bar is equal to capital F of x bar times y bar. Okay. Now, students, if I substitute its value like the, this is the value of dy bar by dx bar. So, I will get dy by dx plus into y of x plus capital Y of y into y prime minus x of x y prime minus x of y y prime square times epsilon plus order of epsilon square is equals to capital F of the value of x bar is given by equation number 2 like the value of x bar and y bar is here. So, if you substitute these two values then you will get x plus capital x of x y epsilon plus order of epsilon square comma uh, y plus capital y of x y times epsilon plus order of epsilon square and bracket close now students uh, if i expand now students if i expand it to order of epsilon square then i will get we will get uh, dy by dx the left hand side as it is that is y of x plus y of y times y prime minus x of x y prime minus x of y y prime square times epsilon plus order of epsilon square here students you have to write expanding to order of epsilon square okay now the right hand side will become equal to capital F of x y plus capital X of f of x means the partial derivative of f with respect to x and multiply it with x and plus y of f of y times epsilon plus order of epsilon square. 
okay first of all i have taken the identity form like f of x y and then part, uh, we have multiplied x with the partial derivative of f with respect to x and y with uh, with the partial derivative of f with respect to y times epsilon and we have taken all the other terms in order of epsilon square now students if we impose the condition and imposing the condition dy by dx is equal to capital f of x y now we will find that like if dy by dx is equal to f of x y then definitely order of epsilon square is equals to order of epsilon square and this term will become equal to this one so i will write here capital y of x plus capital y of y minus x of x times f minus x of y f square is equal to x f x plus y f y now students this is known as the lee's invariance condition this is known as lee's invariance condition okay and for a given uh, function like for a given um, you can say ordinary differential equation any functions x and y that solve this equation like equation number you can say this is equation number 5 are the infinitesimal